Thanks again for joining us at a HodgePodge Australia video. This week we're carrying on with our giant cupcake shell that I made in the previous video. Today I am using buttercream icing. I made two lots of icing to cover the cupcake. I'll put a link in with the description below to My Cupcake Addiction so you can find out how to fill your giant cupcake shell with the cake of your choice. As I'm going to be decorating this cupcake with roses, I've gone with a pink, a red, a yellow, and I've just gone with the natural colour of the icing. It's as close to white as I can get it. I never seem to be able to get my butter to whip to such a white colour. What I'm doing is I'm using Wilton disposable bags, trim off the edge, and pop in the icing tip, and we're going to fill them one colour at a time. I'm using the 1M tip, which you'll see in a moment. Unfortunately, it came out blurry. My camera doesn't seem to like to focus on things close up. I'm lucky enough to have two, so I was able to fill two bags at once, and that halved my time. So just adding, putting the tip into the bag, making sure that it fits neatly, and it's nice and tight, but you don't want it to be covering any of the end where the icing is going to be coming out. I find it easier to fold the bag down a little bit when I'm putting the icing in. We're just going to scoop it all in, slide it off on the side, I know it looks a bit orange there, but it's actually more red. It's the orange bowl. <laughs> Seems to bring out orange. Nice and colour coordinated. So we're going to put the icing in, pack it all down. I like to put in as much as possible, even if I plan don't plan on using it all, because I don't want to have to top up halfway through the job. Closing off the bag, we're going to push the icing down to the bottom so that we can start our squeezing. We want to get air out of there. We don't like to find air pockets in the icing, although it does happen to me occasionally, which is why it's nice to go slow with my icing, because I'm still a novice. I've filled up my yellow. You don't need to see it. It's exactly the same as the other. And I'm going to start piping some roses onto the cupcake. I've put it on a turntable so I can twist it around. You start with one simple glob, and as you can see, you just swirl it around, almost like you're going to do the top of a cupcake, but stopping, and it makes just a lovely rose shape. You then turn the cupcake around, and just find different places to put that colour, spreading them out wherever you want. Once you're happy with where you have the placement of one colour, it's time to move on to the next one. You do exactly the same thing, you just pick new places to put the flowers. If you're going in between two flowers, I prefer to make the roses a little bit larger of the new colour and that way it fills up the space. I do have a few uneven flowers in there but this is my first time so I'm going to give myself a pass because I think I did pretty well for a first time and if I can do well on the first time trust me you can too and I'm the end result of this cake I'm absolutely wrapped with. So adding in the yellow flowers into the spaces but leaving room for the other two colours once we get to the end. You want to try and get your roses as close down to the chocolate cupcake case as you can. See, as you can see, I've gone right down to the bottom. You want it to be covering that join, but you don't want it to be hanging over the cake because otherwise they will break off, and it is very easy to knock them. I'm moving on to my other two colours, which I filled and had a bit of a tidy up. Move some back, so I've got my technically white. I used little inverted quotes there which you can't see because this is a voiceover and I also have a nice pink so I'm going to go through again and I'm going to fill up all the empty spaces with the two new colours. Some of them will be large roses, some of them will be smaller roses but it all comes together at the end. You'll notice as you start to do the third and fourth colours that your roses aren't going to be perfectly round but not all roses are perfectly round anyway and you're trying to fill in the spaces so at the, again, at the end, when it's all joined together, you don't even notice that some of them are a little misshaped. Adding in the white now, we're just going over the small little spaces. As I said, that one's not great, but you will, you will see how I cover that up in a minute. So we're just adding in small little roses, covering over the spaces, and we just want to make sure that we're happy that all the bottom crumb cover of the cake is covered. Now, I haven't included my actual stuffing of the chocolate case at the moment. I've used the silicon muffin tin, again, just to bake a cake, which I used two cake mixes that I found online. It was just a plain vanilla cake. You can also use cupcake uh, recipes that cover about 24 cupcakes. I've seen from my cupcake addiction. I may try that next time as well. And then, again, with the link at the bottom of this, I will put to my cupcake addictions link on stuffing the chocolate case with the cake. 
I made these fondant butterflies the day before and they've been sitting out and drying. You can put them in a piece of alfoil folded over as such and inside an egg carton and it's going to hold them into shape. And I've added these, this is where I can cover up any little mistakes that I'm not happy with. Putting some, just a little bit more interest into the cake. What butterflies aren't going to want to sit on a bouquet of roses? I have a few different sizes of the butterflies. I did the large ones, I did the medium size and I did the small ones, which I, you can find on eBay or at cake supply stores really cheap. And there's the finished product with my butterflies on the top. I'm absolutely wrapped with this cake. It is for my mother for Mother's Day. I told her I'd make her a cupcake. She doesn't know it's a giant cupcake, so I can't wait to see the look on her face when I bring it over to her house tomorrow. I hope that this has inspired you as a novice, because I am a novice, and if I can do it, you can do it. And just for comparison's sake, there's the finished product, and after that, here is a picture of the cake next to a regular-sized cupcake. Don't forget to subscribe to us here at HodgePodge Australia.